Greetings. I'm Tammy Brecht Dunbar. I teach elementary school in Manteca, California. We're about 75 miles east of San Francisco, and we've been distance learning for almost seven weeks now. I'd like to share with you how I create my lesson plans daily for my students by creating a PowerPoint, recording it, and posting it onto stream. I've always preferred lesson planning in PowerPoint. That way I can project up on the screen what students need to be working on, and it's just a great visual reminder. So because I've been doing this for so long, it was very easy to transition over during distance learning to recording my PowerPoints and saving them. You can see I've got an opening slide that greets them, and I actually insert a video of me so they can see my face. I didn't do that in the classroom, but for remote learning I am and words of encouragement. And then I go into our curriculum online and use my Windows key shift and the letter S in order to take a screen snap of whatever content I want to pull into the PowerPoint. This way, students don't have to leave my recorded lesson to access content. It's right there for them to work on. And you can see I've got content from their worksheets. And one of my tricks is to put a little pause button, which doesn't work if you push it, but it's a visual reminder to pause the video, read the questions, write the answers in a notebook. And then when they start the video up, the page comes up with the correct answers and encourage them to pause and check their answers. And then of course, I bring in content because I want them to have access to that rich uh, stories that are in our curriculum and also to interact with them with some of the things that they would have had if they had had their worksheets. And again, putting it all in here so it's in one handy place for them to work. I also realized I wasn't going to be able to give them a spelling test every week, but I could have them interact a lot with the words during the week. And so I pulled out an old chestnut from the beginning of teaching 20 years ago, word work bingo, so they could pull in spelling words every day and do something interesting with them. There are many great websites that we can use for students. This is one of my favorite games for change. It's great for practicing vocabulary. Plus you earn rice for people who are hungry. Um, I love doing a paragraph of the week every week in school. We write them in a journal, but here we're assigning them in Teams and a Microsoft Word document. But I've been focusing it around their shared experience of being quarantined during coronavirus. And by doing that, I have been getting really great writing. They've been writing a lot more because it's something they've got firsthand experience with. Also using the Windows key shift S to get uh, content from our math curriculum. And then this is very exciting. When you go in in PowerPoint desktop and you go to record a slideshow, what's very powerful about this is it allows you to use digital inking. So it records your inking as well as uh, your voice. So it makes it very powerful for direct instruction to be able to do that. And then I can pull content out and let students practice it, pause it, and then my voice comes in explaining to them how to solve it with my digital inking. And of course, another great website we like using is extramath.org. It's free, teacher's favorite F word, and it uh, allows students to master basic math facts. Uh, we're doing, uh, a friend of mine is doing uh, the 100 brick quarantine challenge for Legos. And so this time it's a Savannah build. Every day it's a different build that the kids use their Lego bricks to build and they take pictures, post them in our, our team's channels. And then we love tech challenges. Uh, we're following the Microsoft Education Challenge to build a better world so students can pick which challenge they want. And what's nice about Microsoft EDU is that they can work individually or as a team, even if they're in different places. So that's kind of fun. I give them some choice and voice to things to do uh, in the latter part of the day. And I always try to give them one fun website. Authors have some amazing websites. You just have to go out and look for them. Uh, this is Josh Funks, but there are many for other authors that allow students to interact with text that they enjoy reading. And then the end of the day is simply a reflection of how did your day go and what can we do better and reach out and let Mrs. Dunbar know. So this is what it looks like when I have got all of these slides. It looks like this giant lesson plan, which is nice because now all I have to do is put narration on each page. And then I use the recording tab that's here and you can see publish to stream. And what that's going to do is it's going to change this entire PowerPoint, narrated PowerPoint into a video and upload it into stream, which is Microsoft's answer to YouTube within our tenant. 
Once you've hit the file to upload to stream, it will appear here and you can see I'm in my Manteca Unified Tenant where there's my waffle with my Office 365 and one of the Office 365 apps is of course Stream. And here you can see is Microsoft Stream. And what you can see is here's the lesson. And all I have to do to assign it to my students is to get the sharing link and to go ahead and copy that and paste it into Teams or wherever I want to so students can ac access it at any time of day or any day that is convenient and works for them. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on the Twitterverse at Tammy Dunbar. Thanks again. Take care, stay safe, and remember, let's hashtag continue the learning.